Hi everyone, I'm Vinod and welcome to Career Board. So this is the second part of a session on President's Gold Medal winners from IIT Madras and what's happening to them in terms of their careers. So without much ado, let's jump in. So if you're not watching my first part of the video, go forward and it's the video posted just before this video. Do watch it. And we're going to cover the years from 1990 to 2000 in this one video. Okay, so I was able to spot five folks who have graduated from IIT Madras, who were the toppers when they graduated, and let's track their careers. So the year 1991 was Ravi Sundaram. So Ravi Sundaram had a bachelor's in computer science from IIT Madras and went on to do his uh, PhD from MIT. And since then, he has worked from 1996 onwards. He's worked as a trader in a high-frequency trading finance company called Delta Trading. He's also worked in Akamai as a director for engineering for a couple of years. And then interestingly, right, you can see that after working in the private sector for a couple of years, he decides to come back and be a professor. So he's uh, right now a professor at Northeastern University. So that's Ravi for you. <coughs> 1993 was Anand Raja Rao. So Anand has a bachelor's in computer science and he was in the PhD in computer science uh, in 1996. So Anand's claim to fame is that he's been pretty much a part of the Silicon Valley. He has founded lots of companies. Uh, he initially began working in a company called Jungli, which is acquired by Amazon. Then he was a director there for a couple of years. And then he joined Walmart for some time. Then he heads a prominent venture capital company right now. And there are a couple of interviews with him on YouTube. And one of the things he talks about is that I think it was Sergey Brin and Larry Page, the founders of Google, who were probably a year younger to him when it came to the PhD program at Stanford University. And Anand even tried to recruit Sergey Brin and Larry Page and make them join this company, Jungle, but they refused to do so. And that was very interesting. But uh, the other thing, which is a fun fact about Anand, is that he studied for his PhD program, dropped out in between did his startup for a couple of years and he came back, I think it was 2001 something, and he spent one or two years finishing up his PhD. So he didn't really get his PhD in 1996, it was much later in 2001 or 2002 when he came back. So that's Anand for you. And 1996 was Madhan Lal. And Madhan again has an undergrad in computer science and a PhD from Stanford University. And if you look at his career, you can see that he worked for a long, long time in Microsoft. And he works as a partner research manager at Microsoft, and that's basically his career. So that's Madhil Lal for you. And 1997 was Hariharan Shankar Rahul. So Hariharan, again, has an undergrad from IIT Madras, goes on to do his MS and PhD from MIT. And you can get a sense that a lot of the folks coming out of IIT Madras have actually, over the 1990s and the year 2000s, Many of them went on to MIT and Stanford to do their PhD. So pretty much if you're a branch topper in any of the specializations at IIT Madras, you pretty much have a fair shot at getting into Stanford or MIT. That's become a trend over the past many decades. And if you really want to study abroad, one great place to study is IIT Madras. And it compares very favorably with IIT Bombay and IIT Delhi. And sometimes it's even better than IIT Bombay and Delhi when it comes to studying abroad because there's just a history of people from IIT Madras have gone on to do their further studies at Stanford, MIT, Berkeley, and so on. So Hariharan, in this case, uh, he finishes up in 2012. And you can see that he finished his master's in a year 1999. And there was a gap of a couple of years in between. He works in Akamai. He works in the private sector for a couple of years. And then he goes back to grad school, finishes up his PhD. And he, since then, he has been a founder at, you know, a couple of companies like Mega Memo and Emerald Innovation. So that's Hariharan for you. The year 2000 was Prasanna Ganesan. Again, Prasanna has an undergrad in computer science. He was a JE topper uh, in 1996. And then he also has a PhD in computer science at Stanford. Um, he has a gold medal when he graduated. And he started a company called Voodoo after he graduated, worked in the Silicon Valley. This company was acquired uh, by Walmart. And uh, he worked briefly in Walmart, and then he started a company called Clip. He was there for some time, and then he's opened up a new company called Machinify. 
and he works there. He works in near Mellow Park, which is uh, close to San Francisco, right in the center of San Francisco and the Silicon Valley in San Jose. So it's right close to where Facebook is and that's where Stanford University is. So that's present enough for you. Okay, so I've tried to cover five folks. The others have not able to trace their records online. Um, I just have the first name and without your second name, it's just so difficult to search for information. So hopefully you got something useful out of this video. Let me know in the comments below if uh, there's something you found interesting. And uh, do press the like and subscribe button because uh, I would really love to know the statistics of people who love to watch my channel and watch these videos. It helps me get some important data analytics about you. Okay, folks, so I come to the end of my video. It was a pleasure talking to you. Until next time, we'll connect again later. Goodbye.